Hello, scientists. This is Scientific Illustrator John, and welcome back to Draw About Mad. So, uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to draw braid shape um, because this is the structure for uh, cohesing. And I got this request when I was doing a workshop in Oxford, and one researcher um, asked me how to uh, create these kind of uh, coiled braid shapes. So, without further ado, let's start to Draw About Mad. The part that we will focus on is this braided shape SMC protein. We will use a tool called the Shape Builder tool to create these interwining strands. Uh, if you take a closer look at the uh, strands, you'll see sometimes the light one is at the back and sometimes it is at the front at the intersection. To create that kind of illusion, the Shape Builder tool is the one that you should go to. So uh, first, let's create the strands. Uh, let's grab our ellipse tool and draw a very thin ellipse. And um, let's make the uh, strokes uh, visible and uh, no fill. We don't need the fill here. And then uh, let's thicken the strokes. And then we will make it even uh, narrower uh, until you can barely see the fill. Let's duplicate it. I'll snap the tips uh, together, that is very important. And then we will need to uh, break the ellipse uh, into half. And let's grab our direct selection tool and select these two anchor points at the tip and then click on cut path and let's do the same for the lower one and we, I will apply different color onto the strands so we can tell them apart okay good um, and we will need a round ending cap, so uh, let's also have that applied onto the strokes. Round caps. Okay, let's uh, make the strand even longer over here. Okay, that's good. So before using the shape building tool, we need to expand these strokes because um, the uh, shape builder tool works on objects. Let's expand our strokes by selecting all of them and go to expand and expand stroke only so now these uh, are no longer strokes they are an uh, object of itself so select all your object and then zoom in and you can grab your shape builder tool so when you have the, the tool activated, you'll see that uh, when you hover over your shapes and um, there will be like a netted overlay shadow over the intersection of the shape. So uh, I'll show you how this works. When you click on the netted intersection, then you'll see an orange outline that has uh, surrounded the intersection. And when you keep on drag in your cursor, the orange uh, outline will start to enclose all the intersections that show that you have a uh, drag over. Okay. And when you let it go, then all the, uh, all the shapes on your path will be combined as one shape. And now let's move on to the 
next intersection. And for this intersection, we need to have the uh, lighter strand at the front. So we will start with the lighter strand and then start uh, dragging and covering all the shapes that should be included in this intersection. Okay, and uh, I will change the color back to the light blue. Yeah, so now you see you have uh, one intersection with the dark blue at the front and another with the light blue at the front. And let's work on this one. This one we should have the light blue at the front. So let's grab our shape builder tool and do the same thing. Selecting all the light parts. Yeah, so by uh, by doing this, then you see the effect of uh, this illusion that these two strands are starting to interwining with each other's. So now we are ready to make it into a pattern brush. So uh, that's first. I want to make it a little bit uh, shorter. Good. And uh, for the pattern brush, we need to cut off uh, this part as our unit. So I will make a duplicate. And then have draw a rectangle, the part that I'm going to extract. And then select all of it. And use Pathfinder tool, divide. I can have the, this part as my unit for the uh, pattern brush. And there's uh, one thing that's in between. I will delete this. Good. Um, first, I need to rotate it for 90 degrees. Then, come here to new brush, pattern brush. And um, for the transition, I think auto center is great, and auto center. Yeah. So now we can use our brush to create the SMC protein. Let's create a circle and then apply the brush. Now decrease the stroke. Maybe 0.75. And put it to the back. Okay, that looks great. Make it and make it a bit wider. Okay, great. Um, then we need to break the um, SMC into two because one is uh, SMC1 and one is SMC3. You could do that very quickly by um, adding some anchor points here. And then delete. Okay, good.
And then I'll break it into two because one, uh, we will color it into red later. And uh, there's something that we need to add on, uh, which is the cap of our uh, SMC. So you can just very quickly draw a tip, draw it like this, and then increase the thickness of the stroke so that it fits the um, thickness of your SMC. And then give it a color that suits the same and a round cap. You can move it on top of your SMC. Okay, we also need one at the end. So I will move this over here and move this a little bit inward. Then I'll copy this one. put the color on top. Okay, so that's how you create these SMC proteins in Cohesing. I'll speed up the uh, making a red one because it is essentially the same process and you can enjoy it as the end screen. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this can help you with your graphical abstract. If you uh, find it helpful, uh, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to Joe Valmet for more graphical abstract tutorials. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.